Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of making your own RuneScape private server on revision 7.18 So in today's episode we're going to change our logging screen and we're going to make a quick change to our um, shop command uh, the shops command we made last episode and then we're going to change the the crown uh, the icon beside my my name here. So um, let's start with the first uh, little easy fix for the uh, shop uh, command. Let's lock out of our client here. Close our server. Now go to your own directory and search for regular. Now where you made your shops command. I'll just change my tool shop one here. So just make a few lines here and do if um, exclamation mark player dot can spawn then do brackets player dot get packets dot send message and then your message here um, you cannot open the shop at the moment and then do return true after this and then do um, player.reset walk steps there we are save that go ahead and compile it it just prevents people from opening in the shop whilst um, in the wilderness or something so you don't abuse the shop and it stops you from walking around whilst using the shop so just a quick fix so now let's get to the uh, background uh, changing I'm gonna close out of your source here go to the package go to your tools and your sprite editor and I believe you don't no you don't have to change anything just run your sprite editor now Go ahead and load your cache. Um, where is it? Rune Evo Re3, data and cache. Run that. And now, the sprite you're going to be looking for is sprite 4139. Let's go ahead and search for 4139 here. This is our background. Um, all the way up to 4146 so now what you're going to do is just minimize this for a moment minimize this and go to your um, uh, picture editor here I'm going to create a new one with the uh, um, with the width of 956 pixels and the the height of 503 pixels in both and just press OK so now um, just make your, your server background here just make a very quick one here um, ok welcome back guys I have made a just very simple background for my server now uh, go ahead and go to files go export and do a save to web this is very important and he wants to change your colors here to 255 the standard setting is 256 That's w that will not work in our sprite editor so now go ahead and press save go ahead and save it to your desktop I'll just call it, it doesn't matter the name right now uh, backgrounds safe there we are can minimize that or close all that for now 
so here we have the background but as you can see it's uh, it's like one big picture while whilst in the editor here it's um, sliced into multiple pieces so to do that we're going in into our tools again going to our background slicer um, go ahead and run that choose your image and go to your desktop and your background select image I'm going to choose uh, GIF produce image finished alright and press done and you should see now you're out here you should, you should have all the sliced images here so now what you want to do is rename them to the first one to 4139 second one to 4140 third one 4141 fourth one 4142 so now what you want to do is you want to go to the first one uh, actually we can make to make it a bit easier just create a new folder here got the background just move your uh, sliced images to here that will just make it a bit easier to access now go to the first one 4139 yes go ahead and replace that one replace selected frame what's in here go to your desktop find your background then just replace them open should have no issues uh, if you did it with uh, the colors 2, 5, 6, you will get an image like uh, a notification uh, too many pixels or something, I don't remember. Um, yeah, just go ahead and replace the rest of these. I'll be back with you guys when I'm done. Okay, I'm back guys. I have uh, uh, replaced all my backgrounds here. And then you want to go to pack to cache. You should get something in... Oh, never mind. Just do that for all of your your images here. Just pack them all. There we are. Now we can close off of that. Close off of this. Uh, we'll just delete this one for now. Uh, I'll just have a backup of but the background here. Now go ahead and run your client. I mean your server and your client. I can leave a link in the description for some other sprites like the loading screens, the IDs, and we have our background here. Very nice and simple background. Um, yes. So now, if you want to change the, um, what did my resolution change? Oh, that's why. Then close the other one. Um, so now, if you want to change the uh, the icon beside your name, as an owner, you have some ugly as uh, uh, symbol there. Just go ahead and close your client and server, and go to your tools again, and go to your sprite editor again, and go to load cache and just load your cache again now you want to uh, find the ID 1455 1455 and you can see here 0 that's the uh, moderator crown and the right 0 is moderator the right one is admin so on and the seventh one here this will be our so just go ahead and save images from this one to your desktop you should see a lot of images popping up here on your sprites um, all we need is really the the admin one it's, it's probably the one you want um, you can you can find a a new crown on the internet uh, just make sure it's 13 pixels high no uh, white and 11 high and it should work on your server 
Okay, so now we want to replace this, rename it to 7, and just replace selected frame, desktop, 7, and you should see this, now pack to cache. And the go ahead and close your uh, sprite editor and run your server. Here we are. Okay, so <coughs> if I try write the message now, you see I have the administrator crown now. I prefer that over the uh, symbol there. Oh yeah, one quick thing: if you want to get max everything, just do master as an owner command. Uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, for the next one, I'll just be going over briefly setting up your home and adding the shops that's already coded into the the server. So, um, one more quick thing: if you want tutorials, um, there's a good forums called uh, Rune Server. I can bring it up for you. Runeserver.ee uh, just go to forums p tab and then go to your scroll down a bit till you see RS503 plus client and server as you can see here you have help tab you have snippets and tutorials um, my favorite one is the snippet one you have a lot of random stuff in here like glass crafting if you want to make glass crafting there's like tutorials on here uh, I have made some myself as well. Uh, I'll link you this tab in the this page in the description. Uh, I have made some snippets as well. Um, you can go check them out if you want. So yeah, that was pretty much it from for me for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.